Thank you so much for calling in. Please let me know your name and where you're calling in from. My name is Alicia. I'm calling from Ohio. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. What's going on today? Um, so I actually had a question. There, there's a lot going on for me right now spiritually. Okay. I, I went through a divorce and I've been delivered more times than I can count. And right now I'm actually going through a custody battle. And I've got this boyfriend that like showed up out of nowhere. And I actually had someone prophesy over me saying that this person was a, uh, oh my gosh, what's the word? Um, basically false, like he wasn't supposed to be there. And it, it threw me off to the point where I like stopped worshiping, stopped praying. <laughs> I stopped watching you and everybody else. And this has been really crazy. <laughs> and I just need prayer guidance. I'm like so lost. It's crazy. <laughs> so you stopped praying and doing all that when you got with this person or you stopped doing all that when someone prophesied that this person was going to be basically a distraction? Um, when they prophesied that. Okay, but are you still with this person? Yes. Now, do you feel like this person's like drawn you away from God or do you feel like the person that prophesied over you got you off track? Can you hear me? I think it's more... Oh, you're still there. Sorry. More you're the good. person that prophesied over me because there's been a lot of confusion in that church as well. Okay, and are you still involved in that church? No. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, here's the bottom line. People are going to misrepresent God. People are going to misrepresent mm -hmm. God when it comes to prophecy. People are going to misrepresent mm -hmm. God when it comes to deliverance. People are going to misrepresent God when it comes to preaching. It's like if right. you had a... I'll give you a good example. If somebody plays a Beethoven song on the piano, all right, and they play mm -hmm. a Beethoven song bad, like they're playing the piano, which I don't play <laughs> piano, by the way, so I hope Beethoven even plays piano, but whatever. They play a song and the person <laughs> plays Beethoven terrible. You're not going to say mm -hmm. Beethoven's a terrible piano player or composer because someone else right. played his song bad. You're going to say the person mm -hmm. that represented his song or played his song, even though he wrote the song, even though they played his song, they played it bad. He didn't play it bad, right? So I think sometimes <laughs> right. in the same way, people misrepresent God. And like you just mm -hmm. said, you admitted that it's drawn you away from God. Somebody misrepresenting yeah. God, playing and I'm using air quotes, played his song wrong or played his song bad, misrepresented him well. in, in your eyes, <laughs> made you draw away from him. When in reality, mm -hmm. you just got to be like, this person, I don't receive that word. This person's word they go. missed and I don't receive it and I'm not going to allow this to draw me away from God. And then also ask okay. yourself, now remember, I don't know your situation. Okay, I'm not trying to talk bad about your mm -hmm. boyfriend or anything that you, anything right, right, right. in your life. But I would say whenever you're in a relationship, it's probably the person that prophesied probably had good intentions. They probably weren't trying to like destroy right, right. your relationship. But you always have to ask yourself in any relationship, even if it's a friendship, so not even mm -hmm. just boyfriend, girlfriend, but even a friendship, mm -hmm. you have to go, is this person drawing me towards God? Do they make wow. me want to pray? Do they make me want to read? Do they make me yeah. want to go to church? Do they make me want to be in ministry? Are they, are they yeah. like challenging me to go to the next level or am I unequally yoked? So if you like the Bible talks about not being unequally yoked, that's when you're like two oxen are together mm -hmm. side by side, pulling a plow. Right. So they were yoked together. So if you're ahead and they're behind, that's unequally yoked. If they're ahead mm. and you're way behind, that's unequally yoked. So you just want to make sure oh, wow. whoever you're dating, whoever you're okay. friends with, like they're leading you in the same, you're going in the same direction. You're both going after the same thing. Otherwise it's just going to cause okay. conflict and damage your relationship with God. Okay. Does that make yeah, sense? Cause he's actually, yes, it makes total sense. He's actually like trying to do this, um, ministry thing on discord and we were like trying to go at it together That's and awesome. it's been a little complicated yes like he's been helping me so much get closer to god and like through my own spiritual battles and it's just it's been really great and i just want to make sure like i'm not doing the wrong thing but that yeah 
that's, like that, that's and that's awesome. That's awesome though. You definitely want people <laughs> like that, but don't let it. I right. listen. I've had people prophesy over me. I'll never forget this. When I first got saved, we were in a prayer meeting. This lady's like. I see a Job season coming over your life and the same way Job, like she even said, this is so crazy, but she's like, and Job was getting blistered. And I literally stopped her as she started talking about Job's getting like blistered all over his body. And she was like a Mm -hmm. friend and she was part of her ministry. And I said, I do not receive that word. Send that word back to sender. That is not from the Lord. She's like, well, I didn't mean it that way. I said, you just prophesied a Job season. Have you read Job? You lost everything. So you you can do that. You can tell people (laughs) if someone's prophesying respectfully say, hey, respectfully, I don't receive that word. My spirit okay. does not bear witness. I don't believe that was a word okay. from God. So don't feel bad doing that because uh, you definitely don't want like the prophetic word to get you off track and to get you yeah. distracted and, and to get you to turn away from God or anything like that. Right, because I respect them. I love them as as people and what they're doing. It's just like, I really didn't receive that word. And I'm just like, how do I fix that? What do I do? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you just, you just, you know, don't have any unforgiveness and just tell them I don't receive that. But let me say one more thing. There we go. Okay, so this is the last thing. Okay. And this is, this is not necessarily pertaining to your situation. Um, so okay. don't think like, oh, Isaiah is saying this about my boyfriend or my relationship. But I will say this. <laughs> okay. I will say this. I have had people that love me, that care about me, that have wisdom, that are way older than me, that are amazing (laughs) mentors and leaders in my life, that have my best intention in mind. And they will give me, let's just say a prophetic word or a word of wisdom or a word of advice Mm -hmm. or tell me something like, hey, I don't think you should be in a relationship with this person. I don't mean like a relationship like boyfriend, girlfriend. I mean, just a friendship. Like, Mm -hmm. hey, I don't think you should do ministry with this person. And I have fought them tooth Mm -hmm. and nail. Like, no, that's not the Lord. And I've had my own leaders tell me like, hey, the Lord's telling me to tell you, Isaiah, not to get involved with this specific guy or specific person in in ministry. And I'll be like, no, that's not the Lord. I don't receive that. Just personally, I'm just telling you my story. And then I will find out later that they were 100% right. And I'm not saying that has nothing to do with with your boyfriend, your relationship, but just know sometimes people will give us words or give us wisdom that we don't see in the moment. And then later we go, oh man, they were right. And it made me (laughs) mad and it made me disconnected from them. But sometimes mm-hmm. people that are older have wisdom, they have knowledge, and maybe God's maybe right. God's giving them a warning for you, right? And you're like, no, right, this relationship's right, exactly. amazing, but they're seeing something we're not seeing. So I don't just want to say throw right. people out and don't receive their word. I also want to remember like, okay, so if these people love me, if they have wisdom, if they've been serving the Lord for 40 years, even though I don't right. agree with them, even though I feel like it's not God, maybe maybe mm-hmm. the Lord's getting through to me or maybe what they, maybe I could consider something that they have to say when it comes right. to that word. So hopefully that yeah, helps you not to, to confuse you more. I've been praying about it a lot and I really want to make sure that it's from the Lord. I don't I don't want to I don't want to question it. I don't want to, you know, I just yeah. want to be where God wants me to be and go where he wants me to go. Yeah, and God That's knows your heart, so keep, keep going after God, keep serving Him, keep walking holy, okay. and as long as you're walking that narrow path, you're gonna you're gonna do fine. You're gonna go exactly where God wants you. You don't there need to stress about it. Okay. But when we start letting sin in our life or compromise, then mm-hmm. we can start getting off track, you know. But as long as you just stay on okay. that narrow road, yeah. saying, "Lord, I want to serve You. I might sin, I might fall, but I'm gonna get back up again. I'm gonna repent. I'm gonna turn from my sin. I'm not gonna live a sinful lifestyle." then the Lord can mm. really use you and speak to you. But some people are just completely living right. in compromise and they're like, yeah, I just feel confused. But yeah, if you're in compromise, you're gonna be confused. But if you're doing what you're doing, where you right. say, I'm going after God, I really wanna make sure it's the right thing. I don't wanna mess this up. Then the Lord the Lord will guide you. You don't have to stress about it. It's all gonna work out. Okay, amen. Thank you awesome. so much. Thank you for calling in. You're welcome, thank you. All right, God bless you. <laughs>